Hi, today I'm going to do a makeup look with bright colours for the beach. Beach makeup really has to be natural in terms of the skin, but it's really all about getting the right texture because you need waterproof or at least water resistant textures. Before I start, I'm going to put on my sun protection. This is the main thing that you have to worry about when you're going to the beach. Never mind about the makeup, the makeup you can do afterwards, but you really need to use proper sun protection before you go in the sun, about 10-15 minutes before ideally. I'm going to use this um, Age Shield from Neutrogena and this is factor 90. This is quite a good block um, and I'm going to use this all over my face and neck and chest and hands and then I would use a different one for my body but I make sure that all those vulnerable areas are really well protected. The texture of sun cream you choose should be decided by your skin type so for me I always choose the oil free quite matte finish ones but if your skin's dry go for something that's going to feel really moisturising. So I've applied that all over make sure you get every single little bit of exposed skin. So the next thing I'm going to do is skip the foundation, which the less makeup you can put on your skin, if you're on the beach, the better really. The textures you want to really avoid are powders because you're going to perspire and it's just going to sweat off. Um, and glosses, so glossy and very creamy textures, which when they heat up become quite oily and fluid and melt and get a bit slimy so much better to go for waxier textures and quite hard sort of oil free textures so i've done my sunblock so i'm just going to use concealer i'm going to use um laura mercier sc3 this is my own my own one and just to even out my skin tone and because this is quite a hard product it doesn't really have any give in it so it, it's going to be very long lasting and it's quite a waxy feel to it and the main places I'm going to use it are anywhere you've got pigmentation because it's an extra block for the sun. So you've already got your sun block on, but this is a physical block. So if you've got, for example, little patches of pigmentation, say I've got a patch there, I would put that on and really press it into the skin. And that's yet another block against any UVA getting onto that and making it darker and making it bigger. So although it's to helping me to look better as well, it's also going to be quite preventative. So if you've got any spots, just go and cover all your spots and don't worry too much. You're on the beach anyway, you don't want full coverage. Um, so you can use the same product under your eyes as well. Just don't use too much and make sure it's really well blended into the skin. Because this concealer is very hard and dry, you can still work it into the skin, but it's not going to get all creamy and slimy after a while. Now just do whatever you need to do to feel good, get away with. So I'm definitely going to cover any spots that I don't like. So onto the eyes now. If you want to wear eye makeup, I suggest you just wear eyeliner, because again, powders aren't going to last. Um, you can either just go for a very long lasting waxy pencil, which will stay on pretty well or you can use something that's specifically made to be waterproof. I'm going to use one of these Makeup Forever Aqua Liners mainly because they're nice bright colours which I like but you can buy, there's loads of brands now that do waterproof pencils and waterproof liners. Um, Avon, MAC do them, um, Clarins do good waterproof pencils so lots of people do them. I do find that I like these, if you're going to use more of the liquid type, I like these aquilinas more than the ones that have the brush that go on quite thick. These go on quite thin, which I really like. So I'm going to use this really bright turquoise colour. I'm just going to really put a nice thinnish line. And short strokes along there. So you can either leave it as a line like that, or I'm going to put a little bit of extra on now. And while it's still wet, make it a bit thicker at the outer corner. And while it's still wet at the outer corner, I'm going to use a smudge brush. Just soften it a little bit. It doesn't really blend a lot, but it just takes the edge off the harshness of the line and gives it a slightly softer feel. So that's my blue eyes on and I love this colour, I think it's fantastic. Um, in terms of what colour you choose if you're going for a really bright pencil on the eyes, just choose one that you think's 
fabulous. Don't worry about it. You know, it doesn't have to work well with your eye colour. I mean, if you want to be like that, then you can choose blue for brown eyes, green for... Uh, purple for green eyes and so on but I think just choose a fun color and have fun with it um, I'm just going to use it on the top and not too thick because I'm planning on a bright lip so I don't end up like a clown um, if you're going to do a nude lip you could put maybe a bit more and make it a bit more thick or just have more fun with it again so next thing you want to do is curl my eyelashes now I'm going to use Lancome Ampersil's waterproof mascara so I'm going to put two good coats on because I like a lashy look on holiday. Put some extra on the bottoms. Now if your brows are good, just leave them alone. Just brush them into place and don't worry about them for the rest of the day. If you do have gaps in your brows or they really bother you and worry you, you can either use the waterproof felt tip pen, my favourite, favourite product by Suku, or you can use Makeup Forever Do a waterproof gel eyebrow and um, this is really good as well. So either one of them, I'm just going to go in with my pen and just just darken slightly before all these great formulations came along beach makeup was really a bit of a no-no because it never really lasted or worked but I think now you can really enjoy it and if you've got time on your hands if on holiday it's quite nice to have fun and like paint your nails different colors this one is pop beauty ablaze and I love it with the, the blue eyes it's really quite a cool combo Okay, so brows done, eyes done, I'm all waterproofed up, skin's good, nothing's going to smudge about. I'm going to do my lips and cheeks now. I found this product by um, Pixie and it's a lip twin, which I just thought was fantastic for the beach. It's got a tinted balm in this bit and at the end it's got a waxy little stick which is like a little tint of sorts, but it's very, very waxy, so it's perfect. I'm going to use it for my cheeks, because I don't get tanned on holiday, on my face anyway. I always look really washed out, so I quite like things that I can use on my cheeks to make me look a little bit healthier. So something like this is fantastic. And you can also use this on your lips. Now, unlike lots of lip products this hasn't got SPF in already so be aware of that and make sure that when you use your SPF I always use it over my lips anyway my sun cream um, but this particular one doesn't lots of them do and then just gonna screw the top off and add some tinted balm it's very poolside glamour this look so that's it, that's my bright beach makeup look and you can just experiment with as many colours as you like, either go stronger on the eyes or brighter on the eyes or whatever you want. I think it's nice, it works with really pale skin so people that don't like to tan, like myself, because it perks you up and uh, makes you look wo less washed out. But also bright colours work fantastically with tanned skin and with darker skin tones as well. And I think it's nice because on holiday you sort of have a little bit more time than you would normally so it's good to have fun and experiment with different looks um, for formulations just really avoid those creamy very sort of slimy glossy sort of textures and powders because you are going to perspire and they're just going to come off and go for either specially made waterproof formulations or waxy textures and keep it very light on the skin and that's it and yeah Nails are always a great accessory and I think it's quite nice. Unfortunately, I don't think the colour of these nails is going to show up on video because these are fluorescent orange. Um, so probably going to look a bit pastel on screen, but they're very, very bright. And I think, yeah, just mix up and match the colours and clash them and um, have fun with them. So I hope you like the look and have a great holiday.